if reality is completely physical, and uh, maybe a minimal thesis is that here is that everything that exists is wholly physically realized or wholly physically mm -hmm. constituted. Uh, this will also result in a problem for free will uh, if we believe in causal closure, right? namely that uh, every physical event it has a complete physical cause. That's right. um, <coughs> and um, if, you know, there's a, I suppose that uh, if determ on the supposition of determinism, it's easier to formulate the causal closure, closure principle, namely that every physical event has a physical, de a deterministic physical cause. Okay, so if every physical event has a deterministic physical cause, and if all mental events are wholly physical in the sense that they're wholly physically realized or constituted, then it seems that um, you've, you can set up a problem for free will in that way. Because if all the realizers of all of our mental states are um, causally determined, right? and um, if that chain of causal determination goes back in time to before we were born, um, it would seem to follow that uh, all of our decisions uh, are also causally determined by um, physical occurrences um, from the time before we were born. And that results in a challenge to free will. But what if, uh, what if mental events are not identical with physical? Then it also seems to be a problem. Uh, you know, the physical, the, clo the closure. Yeah, uh, if they're just, yeah, if they're not identical, if they're just constituted. I suppose, but here's the question. Suppose if, um, if suppose, if suppose causal closure of the physical is true, but, but, um, uh, but dualism is true, say substance mm -hmm. dualism is true, right? So uh, <coughs> is this going to result in a, um, a problem for, for free will? I think it also results in a problem for free will because at a certain point, I mean, even on the substance dualistic view, um, at a certain point there's going to be some sort of interaction between the mental and the physical, right? Mm -hmm. And so if your view is that uh, because of the causal closure principle and because of determinism, all the physical events are causally determined by factors beyond your control, um, then the following worry results. Right? Suppose I uh, apparently freely decide to raise my hand. Right? Then the raising of the hand right, uh, will be caused by factors, causally determined by factors that um, <coughs> occurred before I was born. Um, so what about my decision? Could I then have decided otherwise? Could I have refrained from raising my hand? I mean, given that the, raise, the, the rising of the hand was causally determined by stuff that occurred, say, a thousand years ago. Right? So even if, I mean, so even if substance dualism is true, um, there's that sort of, work which I think of as a reconciliation problem for at least libertarian free will that results from causal closure plus determinism. Mm -hmm.